to and also to speak to uh, speak with Mariana, who is the incoming CEO of the Rich Media Foundation. Thank you very much for giving us your time on a Friday evening. I'm sure that there were other things as well on the calendar, but we deeply appreciate and cherish the time that you've given us here. Um, Shabab. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Shabab. I'm joining from Hazab, Bangladesh, and I will be co-moderating with Tanvi. So I'm welcoming all of you to today's um, conversation. And I think we should start, right, Tanvi? So first of all, I will uh, I would like to uh, ask for Shubhoji for his opening uh, key words. Namaste all, hello all, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all, uh, those who have joined this Mariana's call. So uh, I'm speaking, welcoming on behalf of Ekupating, uh, welcome to you all, uh, we will be speaking to you today, friends, this policy, we are recording this call and be free to speak in your own languages. The translation can be done by anyone. Uh, so please feel free to uh, speak in your own languages. And that's all. Uh, and uh, with my team members, Nitesh, Tito, uh, Jayanta, also in this call. Uh, so uh, please help in. Taking notes also, I'll be giving the required link here. Uh, so I request uh, it uh, to welcome all in our language. Over to Nitesh. Thank you, Subhati. Uh, Namaste. I'm Nitesh. I'm a CIS certificate. 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 आज का हमारा साउथ एशिया फैमिली का एक कॉल है जिसमें हम लोग एक दूसरे से बात करेंगे और हम एक दूसरे को सुनेंगे स्पेशली मारियाना हमें सुनेंगे तो हम आपको वेलकम करते हैं और प्लीज अपने खुलकर यहां पे आप बात कर सकते हैं जिस भी टॉपिक में आप चाहें आप अपनी बात को रख सकते हैं जैसे कि सुबोध जी ने बताया आप अपनी लैंग्वेज में बात करें और कोई आपको जरूर ट्रांसलेट कर देंगे जो भी आपको हेल्प कर सके हम जरूर हेल्प कर करेंगे थैंक यू नाउ आई एम स्पीकिंग टू इन पंजाबी बिकॉज़ इट्स माय मदर टंग सत्यकाल मैं नितेश मैं सीएसए टू के वलो थोड़ा सा बस स्वागत करती हूं से मैं उम्मीद करती हूं कि तुसी इथे मरियाना दे लिसनिंग टूर विच अपनी गलबात रख सकोगे ते तुसी अपना खुल खुल के इथे गल करोगे ता ताकि मरियाना सानू सुन सके ते सानू अपने अग्गे फ्यूचर विच सानू हेल्प कर सकन ता तोडा बहुत धन्यवाद तुसी अपनी लैंग्वेज विच इथे गल कर सकदे ता तोनू ट्रांसलेट कर दिता जावेगा धन्यवाद नाउ आई एम हैंडिंग ओवर द कॉल टू शबाब एंड सनी थैंक यू थैंक यू शुभोद एंड नितेश हम uh well in the next session uh i will uh, hand over to sandeep for for the next session thank you so much thanks so much nitesh and subodh yes please uh, feel free to speak in the languages that you prefer and also use the chat use the chat also to write in the languages that you are comfortable with we'll try and get uh, helpful comedians to help us translate and make things better um mariana i would like to invite you to speak a few words introduce and also uh, explain how this entire listening tour has come about what do you intend to take away from this mariana over to you thank you time here before i dive into my introduction can i ask you if it's going to be translated when i finish or not that will help me with my face uh i think if, if there is not a specific request for a language we would keep it in english but if there is anybody who would request then we would try and uh, do the translation okay thank you i am delighted to be spending friday with so many of you and especially those of you uh who are, are in the friday evening hours for choosing to do this with your evening um I'm going to introduce myself. I'll talk a little bit about this listening tour and then my hopes for the call today. As Tanvir said, my name is Mariana Iskander. I'm the incoming CEO of the Wikimedia Foundation. I'll be joining formally in January of 2022. And so using the time that I have now 
to really try to learn a lot about this very complex wikiverse of ours. And there's an, enough complexity just in your region to spend much more time than we have today for me to try to learn uh, and listen. My background is that uh, I'm Egyptian by birth. I was born in Cairo. My family emigrated to the United States when I was uh, a young child. I grew up mostly in the U.S. I studied in the United Kingdom and began my professional career um, in the United States, working on a range of other movements and social issues. For the last 10 years, I have lived in Johannesburg in South Africa, working on the issue of youth unemployment, which is a significant challenge in most societies, certainly on the African continent and in many other parts of the world. We launched the listening tour two weeks um, following the announcement about my appointment, um, which was the 28th of September, and in that time I have been very fortunate to join 17 community organized events. So this is number 17, the final one, in all regions of the world and with Wikimedians of various user groups and interests, in addition to time that I've taken to have individual conversations with both community members as well as foundation staff, as well as partners and even former foundation staff. I think it's been important that I learn about the history and about the past of the Wikimedia Foundation and our communities in order not to live in the past, I guess, is what I want to say, so that we can understand the past but be in the present and look to the future. I've tried to do my homework um, for this call in learning as much as I could about the history of the Wikimedia Foundation's work in the region, some of which I would say has many lessons to be learned. And while I don't understand everything yet, I do have a sense of some of the prior chapters. The idea for the listening tour is for me to listen, so I won't actually speak for too much longer. The more I can hear from you about your challenges, I'm very interested not only to hear about what's not working, but to hear what is working. I think that's a request that I make at each meeting. If you can also share the things that we're doing well and having success with, I'd love to hear about the work of your project, about things that are happening, um, even if they aren't necessarily in a specific language community or project. I may have questions for you if you're comfortable to answer them. And really, in closing, just to reiterate that we would love for you to speak in any language that is the most comfortable for you, and we'll do our best to provide interpretation and translation support in the chat or verbally. So thank you to everybody who's joined, and I am really excited to get started. So Tanvir and Shabab, I'll hand back to you. Thank you very much, uh, Mariana. Uh, the order of the things would be to ask this obvious question of what is the interesting thing of the project that you've been working on, why is it interesting? And to get those reflections, it would be interesting to start from one of the most dynamic and the uh, youngest projects that we have in this part of the world. I was hoping that Ashwini could talk about the Santali Media project and share some of his experiences about what projects uh, the Susan Valley community work, what do they find interesting. Ashwini? Uh, thank you, Tanvi, uh, and good evening to all. Uh, uh, again, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I am from the Santa community, and my name is R. Ashwani Banjan Murmu. So, as Sanvi said, uh, we are the youngest uh, Wikimedia, Wikipedia community in the South, East, uh, South Asia. And uh, the journey started from the 2017. And uh, basically, 
the sample community is an indigenous community in India, and uh, and it is the only indigenous community which has the Wikipedia project. So, um, digitally, uh, the sample Wikipedia community was not at par with the uh, rest of the community, mainstream community in India. So me and some of the friends from Bangladesh and Nepal thought that uh, we should uh, we got the thing that uh, by collaboration of these uh, country, we just from three countries, Bangladesh, Nepal and India, we are working from three countries to make this project uh, continue. Uh, we just happy things to us, good thing for us. Uh, uh, I think uh, these are all uh, uh, we uh, Thank you for giving me an opportunity. Uh, thank you so much, Ashwini. Thank you for sharing all of these things. And I'm hoping that there will be a real life learning and listening uh, tour very soon. And we can all collaborate and uh, meet wonderful Wikipedians. Thank you so much for the wonderful that one. Work that you're doing. I'm sure a lot of uh, uh, participants in the call have similar experiences. I request you to raise your hand, use the chat to indicate uh, that you would like to share, and we will start uh, ensuring that you have the opportunity. Uh, is there anybody who would like to respond with a similar experience of either working with Santali or working with, within your own communities? Here, maybe just on my side, I'm interested to learn a bit more about um, the, how big of a challenge the access to the internet is across the different communities. Obviously, it's a challenge I'm very familiar with living uh, in on the African continent, but as we go through the session, it would be useful to understand from others if that, uh, just at a basic level, is, is a key challenge. I don't want to make assumptions that it's easier in the urban areas than the more peri-urban or more rural areas, but just a topic I'd be interested to learn more about in the conversation. Thank you, Mariana. I think there is a Wikimedian among us who has work uh, both from a slightly urban setting and also continued from the rural uh, setting. Arya, Arya Ji, are you with us? Would you like to share your experience of working from different settings across different projects? Yes. Hello, Arya Ji. We can hear you, Arya Ji. Thank you. Okay, yes. Hello, all of you. Uh, I am Dr. Arya Joshi from Marathi Indian Community and I have joined from Pune, Maharashtra, India. Uh, it is a great pleasure to be here with you all and thanks for this opportunity, Sanudin and all the CIS team. Uh, first of all, I would like to share a very nice experience uh, with Mariana. Uh, before COVID pandemic, one and a half years ago, three of Marathi individuals uh, have tried to get engaged with the land project for the very first time. Myself and two more Marathi uh, Wikipedians, uh, we have engaged with the class project uh, for six months approximately. And it was really good experience, learning experience for three of us. And uh, in future, we as a Marathi community want to uh, learn new things about the class and we want to do further research projects uh, regarding class projects also. Many times, uh, I have my two students actually. Uh, many times I am here in Pune and sometimes I, uh, I was uh, there in the uh, Kokan region of Maharashtra during both uh, pandemic uh, COVID situations. I was there with my family members. Uh, actually, uh, I would like to share here that uh, CIS A2K uh, gave me support three years back and um, I was able to. Uh, do my own work from a very uh, native place from Kofi. Now, the place is very small, and uh, due to lack of internet support, uh, I was not able to do my work. But, but after this uh, support, I'm uh, very much comfortable there also, and I'm trying to do my best from the both from the city as well 
as uh, from the my own village here uh, we are experiencing one challenge regarding marathi vika community that we are very good uh, people who are willing to work with us but i don't know how we are uh, going to engage them with all these kind of this kind of activity we are trying to organize different kind of workshops and trainings uh, training programs for all these uh, interesting people but uh, as per my own knowledge and experience we want to enhance or increase uh, <coughs> their capacity so uh, we need help for this kind of projects which will uh, encourage different kind of people and we can use their abilities to edit different kind of uh, wiki projects thank you very much arya ji uh um, mariana would you want to uh, have a direct response or is there something that you would like to understand I mean, more about the digital divide about the difficulty of internet in this context i mean i think another theme that i suspect will be common among the projects is how covid has made things uh either more difficult or easier actually it depends quite a bit on on um whether the virtual world created more access for more people or created other kinds of difficulties that may have slowed things down so again maybe another theme to try to learn more about um as we talk about the different projects i see tender there's a hand up Uh, thank you ashwin hi uh, i'd like to just give a short uh, overview about this uh, issue to uh, mariana if i may yes please acha uh, as far as the internet uh, issue is uh, gone uh, i would like to just uh, give a few points that uh, when we see a large number of wikimedians they uh, form a part of a spectrum so we have people right from the santhali wikipedia who are uh, right away from even electricity and internet access and living in homes where even communicating bus transport they have to walk across rivers and uh, the other things to people like me who live in uh, metropolises have no problem of any kind this is regarding just the internet access but there are other compounding factors which go, go on uh, to form a larger complexity and uh, difficulty for the community as a whole to have even an equal footing first thing is there is a digital divide so definitely in india we have a very large digital divide which sort of co- uh, coincides with the educational divide and the income divide the other problem is that we have a lot of people who don't have access to better devices they function off at the most they have a mobile phone and they would have a cheap smartphone many of which may not be able to give them the facilities enough to participate in the wikimedia movement other than reading so uh, that's an issue uh, then uh, such people may not have access to laptops or ipads or anything and when they get that they would also need to be taught how to use these things besides that uh, we all we had a lot of uh, problems as regards covid uh, recently which uh, i think uh, we we should get uh, tito's input on this because he has a number of interesting things to say uh, in addition politics and uh, social status in india also play barriers the condition of the law and order of a particular uh, place is not the same uh, the freedoms individual freedoms so we uh, when we are functioning to get anything done or even a simple message across and recently we had this problem when we wanted to inform all the wikimedians in india about the board of trustee elections disclaimer i was a candidate for the board of trustees uh but we face a large number of problems and the learning point here is a that the situation is complex b uh many of the people 
who are not from the subcontinent who don't have real life experience don't understand this issue they may comprehend it intellectually but they don't understand the scale or how it really affects in in certain cases we were unable to reach even certain communities and get the message across to them that means not a single member of a particular community who we know it exists we were able to contact and tell them things like that uh now we have been uh, facing a new fresh set of problems uh, that is uh, breakage of internet access deliberate one is deliberate where the government for uh, maybe for law or no other reasons or technical reasons uh, shuts down the internet and the second problem that we are facing is we are having a large number of climate exacerbated events such as floods and typhoons which have been again cutting internet access for a lot of people this in brief is a sort of the uh, uh, sort of the environment that internet access have, uh, uh, that, uh, that wikimedia users and editors in india are facing thank you uh, thank you ashwin ji um actually uh, another interesting fact is uh, our ashwin's friends uh, could not join uh, due to internet issue today so we are uh, having internet issue in india and uh, other other parts of uh, south asian community as well so maria do you have any any question about this a- a- any i mean maybe not a specific question but just um empathy and sympathy for the challenges of being in environments where uh electricity is regularly cut internet access is not stable i certainly don't leave my home with an expectation of access to public wifi um in places that i go and i understand but again i'm eager to learn more how the ways we work and certainly the technology solutions we build recognize this to be true for um well billions including in india billions of people all over the world uh my my lived experience which i reflected in uh an earlier session is also um an environment in which very few people actually use desktops or laptops i mean the mobile phone is the only entry point into the digital world um and so reflections and understanding how that plays out for your projects and in your context uh would also be useful. Okay. Uh so there are many interesting uh projects going on here in South Asian community. So uh, one of those are <coughs> excuse me. The so one of the, those uh, communities are Lingua Libre community. So we have Shangita with us uh, from Lingua Libre community. Shangita, do you want to uh yes. share your your input? Sure, sure, sure. I'm Sangeeta Hande from Pune. Can you hear me well? Okay. Yes, you are audible. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll speak in mixed language, some uh, something in Marathi and in English also. Uh, we had done uh, much work in Lingua Libre during this Corona pandemic. Actually, this Corona pandemic was a good opportunity for us. Mostly, the group is um, middle age. Uh, women from pune okay and uh, we have done lot of work during this period actually uh, we had much time with us due to the pandemic and uh, we all are marathi expert ladies our own uh, mother tongue is marathi and that is why we are expert gharat basun aplya avdi se subject hota ani gharat basun kaam karaycho hota सो बऱ्याच जणी त्याच्यामध्ये जॉईन झाल्या आमच्याकडं खूप शब्द असल्यामुळे आम्ही ते इझिली करू शकलो आणि खूप फोर्सफुली काम चालू होतं पण साईटचे प्रॉब्लेम झाले मध्ये तरी लिलीचे आणि दॅट इज वाय वी हॅव टू स्टॉप द वर्क फॉर सम पिरियड बट अगेन विल स्टार्ट रिस्टार्ट विथ गुड फोर्स अँड मच एफर्ट्स देन वी फेस सम प्रॉब्लेम्स द मेन प्रॉब्लेम इज रिलेटेड टू द डिव्हाइस because everyone was not able to uh, have good laptop or uh, some strong network all that so techamule ani shiknyat pan adchani ala karan kai goshti online shikvayla adchani yet hoti 
आम्ही ते प्रॉब्लेम रूल आउट करतोय इव्हन आम्हाला रेकॉर्डिंग मध्ये अडचणी आल्या तेवढा प्रायव्हसी घरामध्ये किंवा एक शांतता किंवा ती रेकॉर्डिंगची स्किल्स त्याच्यामध्ये थोड्या अडचणी आल्या पण आम्ही त्या रूल आउट करतोय आणि लिलीच काम आम्ही पुन्हा खूप जोरात सुरू करणार आहोत सुबोध दादांची आम्हाला खूप त्यासाठी मदत होते आणि आमचा ग्रुप पण चांगला फॉर्म झालेला आहे एवढंच मी सांगू इच्छिते थँक्यू Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Shubhat, can you, can you volunteer uh, to yeah. transfer the Marathi? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Sangeeta Hande, uh, as she has said, uh, it is a group of women. Uh, those are uh, middle-aged uh, around 40 to 60 and they are language lovers. Some of them are language experts also, linguists also. Uh, so, uh, during the pandemic, we hold uh, some awareness sessions uh, uh for some uh, senior citizen forums uh, etc and apart from them uh, some women came together and started this project uh, as they were interested in language as such uh, so we started uh, lingua litre and lexemes also there is a very good group uh, who is active in lexemes now uh, they have created nearly 80000 lexemes uh, so all the forms of uh, 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 this uh, verbs, nouns, adjectives, etc. So the database is ready. They are now ready to uh, go into Lingua Libre also with the recordings. Uh, so uh, during the pandemic, this activity was uh, taken up. And as she has said, uh, there were a few difficulties like the uh, silent atmosphere is not there uh, in the homes. Uh, so the recording was the problem. They had to sit in the night or early in the mornings around 5 a.m. Uh, to record the, and apart from that the women you uh, know that they, they have many household duties so people were uh, uh, like disturbed due to uh, the uh, women uh, sitting at the laptop or the mobile phones and doing their recording silently in other in, in separate rooms so that was also a, a, a step issue from the family members uh, but uh, uh, they have taken up the activity and you can see I have uh, pasted the link of Ivan Gray uh, contributions uh, in Marathi. They have crossed 14,000 recordings uh, on Lingua Libre uh, and uh, the project is being uh, speedy, speedy taking up slowly. So uh, that was the gist of uh, Sangeeta's uh, experiences. Thank you. Well, I want to acknowledge that I see uh, Tito has uh, his hand raised and Oshinji, do you want to, if you want to uh, take some more uh, words that will, I will come back to you. Uh, before that, uh, Mariana, do you have any any um, uh, questions about this? I mean, I would love to ask Sangeeta the question of what it would take to have more of this. This seems like the kind of example of engaging women, engaging in um, what seems to be a very positive project, and I'm, it may not need more resources, I'm not sure, but I guess it's a good example of something that's working, and be interested in what it would take for there to be more. हाँ संगीत तो रही तन्या से विचार ले कि हाँ जो कई महिलाएं से घर टेक्स रही हैं बरस कई करते हैं तब टेक काम अनखी विषय में दे वाड़ावने से टीज़ साथ तब अपना ऑडियो बुक्स चपन करते हैं तो मतलब अनखी कई स्पोइस सुविधा कि वह असल कहीं आवश्यक है ऐसे वाटते का हाँ मैं तो उस विचार करते होते मलास तर आम्हाला ते साहित्य त्यासाठी मिळालं कि आम्हाला ते प्रोवाइड केलं की वा ते अवेलेबल करता आलं तर खूप बरं होईल म्हणजे एक सेटअप जर झाला तर तिथे बसून आम्ही ते काम करू शकतो कारण निर्मिती घरामध्ये करताना खूप अडचणी येतात आणि एकटीला त्या अडचणी सॉल्व करता येत नाही तर असं काही करता आलं तर आम्ही ग्रुपनं एकत्र काम जास्त पोस्टफुली करू आणि ग्रुपचा इफेक्ट तो कामामध्ये वेगळा दिसेल so Sangeeta has expressed that the, now the uh, it, during the pandemic, uh, uh, believe me, we have not met uh, uh, at all. So all the group is working remotely. 
and uh, I am also facilitating remotely. So we have not uh, met once uh, in, in all this uh, uh, one and half year. But the people are contributing and staying in touch to Google Meet and. Google. But she has expressed that now the people want to uh, come together because uh, uh, they are not able to solve their problems on their own. So some team building, some group uh, uh, like uh, should talk uh, at one place. And if they can uh, come and uh, play a small group kind of thing, and if you can record the things there, a small uh, low cost uh, studio maybe, uh, sound recording studio, because the same group has taken up video uh, books activity also. So they are recording the uh, books from Wikisource. Uh, so she has expressed just some uh, gadgets uh, for the recording and some uh, secluded, isolated room uh, where they can come together and were seamlessly signing and continuous because they want, she expressed that they want to continue this uh, uh, for longer time, sustainable time. Okay, thank you, uh, Shankita ji and Shubhat ji for your on the wonderful translation. Uh, I see Tito, his hand raised. Tito, please. Uh, thank you, Shubhat. Uh, as we are talking about COVID and pandemic and uh, internet connectivity issue. Uh, I am following the news and I think that the spike is going up once again in Europe, South Africa, Botswana and other countries. So I hope, I think we all hope that uh, we stay safe and the third wave won't come. I will give limit to two examples. First, Shabab, what you told about the Assamese community. Uh, Assam is a state in northeast part of India. And uh, they are not from the capital of the state, most of the Wikipedians we have, not from Guwahati. So many times we, when we arrange a call, from my experience I can tell you, we tell them and they say that they are interested, it's not one person or two persons, a group of people, they are interested. But the problem is they say that they can't join and because they don't have sufficient internet to join in a video call like this. So for this reason, for this reason they always miss out this call. So for some parts, especially and the rural part, rural part internet is an issue. I will give you another example. Uh, in the COVID-19 pandemic, first wave and also in second wave, what we saw in a common house, internet usage was doubled or tripled. Earlier, uh, it was not remote education. I mean, remote school, remote college. This thing started also work from home, work from home started it added pressure on the internet usage. So we saw examples where uh, they needed much more internet than they needed before. And I can tell one specific example without telling the name. Uh, one Wikimedia told me that I used to charge 2 GB uh, and after my college and my brother's school, I don't have any bandwidth left. So I have to recharge extra to do something like uh, Wikipedia or other things. Uh, so we saw an extended usage of internet and necessity there. So these things, what Ariyaji mentioned, mostly uh, the internet support. These ideas came from there. That this is not one example, and there are many examples like this. Uh, the second thing, and uh, third thing is that other than the direct effects of COVID-19 pandemic, what we are also thinking that uh, because of this other effects of pandemic, such as socio-economic, economic and other recession, other things which may or may not come in, how the editor retention is going to be affected because of uh, job loss and other things, that possibly we need to collectively think and uh, make a plan to have a better editor retention during these possible scenarios that will be helpful for the communities in India and worldwide possibly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tito. Uh, Mariana, those are some of the things that the South Asian community particularly will have to put their head together and try and understand what has been the post-COVID effects on the sustainability of the community, the retention of the community, and the new ways of engaging people, considering that a lot of our community members have not been able to come together for upskilling, have not been able to learn by interaction. It is going to be very important for South Asian communities to have a moment, uh, to have an opportunity to ensure that their skills uh, and their equipment and their infrastructure and their ideas all are made available for more interaction. Uh,
thank you very much Tito. Uh, as usual Mariana, if you have any reflections, please. Again, each uh, input raises new questions. So one thing um, we can explore with uh, others is I'm interested in the both age and diversity profile of the Wikimedians in some of these projects. Again, uh, I live on a continent that has a very young population, um, which is true in some uh, Asian contexts uh, more than others, and whether, for example, we see young people coming and participating, if that's a goal, maybe it's not even a goal, I'm not sure, uh, if that's an objective, and if we do see younger people, and by that maybe students or you know, we all have a different definition of young, I'm sure. Um, again, I'd be interested what is bringing them and um, what is keeping them. Thank you, Mariana. I would actually hand this question to Gaurav, who represents Punjabi Wikimedia community, and the Punjabi Wikimedia community has been able to bring in both of these uh, sectors or both of these interest groups. They have a lot of young members, they have a lot of people who have experience uh, coming in and contributing on this one. Uh, Gaurav, do you want to Punjabi Wikimedia community? Uh, yes. Uh, uh,
manual of style or uh, about notability so those are some of the the policy related questions which gorav is uh, hoping to lead on and uh, work with the community to solve um just to add a bit more context to that uh, what happened in the previous uh, years especially since the pandemic is we we don't have that uh, you know regular uh, offline meetups we do have some online meetups but they don't do the same thing they don't um, you know they don't fill the void that it leaves with the uh, absence of offline meetups uh, because what they did for us was it, it was not just uh, getting together and just doing our own thing it was more about teaching each other uh, you know learning from each other and that's something that we're missing now and uh, and you know we reflect we see it we see the reflection on the wiki projects we see that in the past one and a half years the activity in general Uh, the, uh, on the wiki project has reduced, and that was also a point where we were able to bring in new people. Uh, in at, the, at those uh, offline meetups, we would usually have some of our younger um, students from the uh, from the university, which is uh, which is a you know where we work more in the, in in my city. So we were able to bring in new people every time, but that's something we are not able to do. That so we just uh, a few people, a few are not uh, are now busy in other things. It's just that. um small community now trying to do some things but we we are facing that major challenge of um having to uh, of not having new people join in the uh, the conversation and also not uh, of of not having been able to uh, learn from each other whenever uh, you know there is a challenge because when we do an online meetup we don't add it at the same time we just have some conversation so that's um, yeah the, that's some context around um What's what's going on, and those are some challenges that we need to figure out how do we solve them. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Sadiq. Uh, Shivash, I want to acknowledge that I see your hand, but before that, can I just put a manner to give another perspective about how the community, the Punjabi community in this context, has been working with another big diversity issue? That's the gender, age, demography is one diversity. Manav, are you with us? Uh, we can hear you, Madam. Thanks. So I would just like to say that I think you should know. So probably I will need somebody to come on now. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so when you're talking about the Javi Indian community, um, I completely agree with what Gaurav just mentioned here and what um, Satish shared as the concerns that we are facing. So we have a lot of concerns on, on how we are going to share this knowledge with other people. And people who are not directly working with the PVC unions, but are somehow associated with somebody who is taking a lead on a project. Um, uh, we have also been working on addressing the gender gap in a way where uh, our community has been proactively working on designing programs entirely based on bringing more women as editors to the community, designing more programs, not only to increase the numbers of content about women on the media, but also. Uh, to train more women uh, to emerge as leaders. One of our editors, Nitesh, was also on this call, is the leading editor from the community uh, and has been writing continuously for more than a thousand days, writing one article about one emerging woman every day on Punjabi Wikipedia. So that is how we are trying to raise awareness about this gap and how um, that is why that is how we have been trying uh, our best to actually uh, ensure that uh, this issue that we have. Uh, Um, as a prominent issue on other language projects, uh, we should be able to bridge that gap and address this gap. Not only this, we have also been running an education program in the future, uh, where we do have students from seven different language projects. Uh, initially, we spoke to a few other community members who are also present here on this call today to guide the students about the kind of language quality expectations that we have, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Yeah, because of pandemic, we have not been able to meet those students, and there has been a gap on, uh, and it has impacted the pace at which we which we we are going, uh, because uh, the online training is not as influential as an in-person training, uh, and yeah, and this is why I think that in general, because uh, the social structure of India is different, and no matter how hard we try, every community has been really impacted this COVID and has been. So we really need to come together again, or probably uh, come up with some policy or a structure which can help us address these kinds of challenges. 
thank you very much Mana, for that context and uh, Nitesh, amazing work as always I mean all, all of your work and you know, we would like to support you in the best way that we can uh, Suyash Ji, Namaskar My name is Suyash Trivedi I am a member of and हिंदी विकिपीडिया की ओर से आता हूं हिंदी विकिपीडिया के अलावा मैं विकिपीडिया कॉमन्स से जुड़ा हुआ हूं और उस पे फिलहाल मेरी एक्टिविटीज ज्यादा है एम आई ऑडिबल एक इतना कॉमन शब्द हो गया है अगर आपने सुना हो यहां पर कि जो कोई भी आ रहा है वो सबसे पहला वर्ड यही बोल रहा है एम आई ऑडिबल इससे यहां पर इंटरनेट की कनेक्टिविटी से हम लोग कितने प्रभावित हैं या आप लोगों को समझ में आ गया होगा मैं अभी इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी या इन सब बातों का बारे में ना बात करते हुए कुछ बेहतर चीज बताऊंगा जो हम साउथ एशियन कम्युनिटीज ने करी हैं कई कंपटीशंस ऐसी हैं फोटोग्राफी से रिलेटेड जिसमें हम लोगों का बहुत ही शानदार कंट्रीब्यूशन रहा है विकिपीडिया एशियन मंथ हुआ या विकिला मॉन्यूमेंट्स जैसी कंपटीशंस में हमारे यहां से बहुत अच्छे से पार्टिसिपेशन होता रहा है पेंडेमिक के दौरान मिस इंफॉर्मेशन ना स्प्रेड हो और ये कोविड रिलेटेड डाटा अपडेटेड अपडेटेड रहे गूगल्स पे और विकिपीडिया के अलग-अलग लैंग्वेजेस और प्लेटफॉर्म के लिए उसके लिए भी हमारे साथी जितने कंट्रीब्यूटर्स हैं उन लोगों ने बड़ा अमेजिंग वर्क किया और सबके लिए मैं सबको बहुत बधाई भी देना चाहता हूं कुछ चिंताएं और कुछ बातें हैं जो और मैं शेयर करना चाहूंगा कि जिस तरीके से हम अभी ग्लोबली हब्स की बात कर रहे हैं या मूवमेंट uh, स्ट्रेटजी के इंप्लीमेंटेशन या यूनिवर्सल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट जैसी चीजों के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं पता नहीं क्यों uh, हम साउथ एशियन uh, जो कम्युनिटी है वो इसमें बहुत अच्छे से एक्टिवली इन्वॉल्व नहीं हो पा रही है या तो भाषा एक uh, बंधन हो सकता है या uh, जो डिस्कशन का तरीका है वो एक बैरियर के तौर पे आ रहा है मुझे नहीं पता लेकिन मैं इस चीज को नोटिस कर रहा हूं और अलग-अलग कई और भी डिस्कशंस में इस बात को मैंने महसूस किया है कि पता नहीं क्यों इस रीजन के लोग इस जो रीजन जो है हमारे यहां के वहां के लोग इस तरीके के ग्लोबल डिस्कशंस वगैरह में एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेट नहीं कर पा रहे बस मेरी एक छोटी सी यही कुछ बातें थी और हमारे साउथ एशियन क्षेत्र में मरियाना आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत धन्यवाद सुयाशी मरियाना मित्र आई हैंड इट ओवर टू यू आई वुड लाइक टू ट्रांसलेट सुयाशस ऑब्जर्वेशंस इफ आई डोंट गेट इट राइट सुयाश जी प्लीज फिर से एक बार फिर से बता दीजिए एंड आई विल ट्राई अगेन सो सुयाश स्पीक्स अबाउट टू इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशंस दैट ही शेयर विद द फर्स्ट वन इज दैट देयर इज बीन अ लॉट ऑफ गुड वर्क दैट द साउथ एशियन कम्युनिटीज हैव डन पर्टिकुलरली व्हेन इट कम्स टू कंपटीशंस कैंपेन्स एंड इवेंट्स दैट कैन इन्वॉल्व Uh, images that involves contribution there has been a lot of growth there has been amazing dedication and volunteer activity in this one however he also knows that the salvation participation at a global discussion forum when it comes to strategic discussions or it comes to discussions around regional hubs is not as well planned or not as active <coughs> as it is for content related uh, events this is something that he is concerned about this is something that he wants to flag as an important topic for the salvation communities to discuss and find some solutions he also uh, now extend a very warm welcome to you mariana for this conversation and into this region officially thank you so yash ji kuch chhoot gaya kuch baatein chhoot gayi hai sir zarur aap प्लीज उनको ये भी बताएं कि किस तरीके से हमारे कम्युनिटी मेंबर्स ने कोविड के टाइम पे जो डेटा है कोविड से रिलेटेड उसको अपडेट करने में किस तरीके से चाहे विकी डेटा पे काम किया हो चाहे विकिपीडिया के अलग अलग प्रोजेक्ट्स पे काम किया उसमें किस तरीके से हम लोगों ने बढ़ चढ़ करके काम मेहनत करी है थैंक यू दी अदर पॉइंट दैट सुरेश ऑब्जर्व इज दमेजिंग वर्क दैट इंडियन विकीमीडियंस डेड आर अराउंड Uh, covid-19 data collection and ensuring that data was available across the wikimedia projects a lot of work was put in by the wikimedia in collecting data and synthesizing it and putting it on wikidata and other related or other important platforms and he wants to acknowledge that this was a work that brought in a lot of wikimedians together during the pandemic times and had 
you know, created that sense of community. Uh, thank you. I want to acknowledge that Sumiti's hand is up, but before I come to Sumiti, Mariana. I think maybe to convey that, that the question of how our more strategic movement conversations are inclusive of many voices from many regions has been on my mind as well. And I don't yet have all the answers, but I can tell that when it's only in English, that's a quite limiting factor for how we invite voices from many different regions. Uh, it's not only language, but I think that is one factor. And given not only the size and population of this region, it is useful to understand how the energy and activity that might happen at uh, a more local level country language community gets translated to some of the broader global conversations, for sure. Thank you very much, Mariana. I think making it language neutral or making it more language accessible is definitely going to be helpful for better participation. It will also help uh, the conversations have acquired a very different focus and flavor. Thank you. Uh, Suniti? Hello. Uh, hello, I am Suniti. I will prefer to talk in Marathi. Is it okay? Sure, Suniti. Thank you. Uh, uh, we इथे पॅन्डेमिक मध्ये काम करायला सुरुवात केली कारण की भरपूर फ्री टाइम होता आणि माझ्या बऱ्याचशा आय टी इंडस्ट्री मधल्या मैत्रिणींना पण काम करायचं आहे इथे पण नक्की काय करावं ते कळत नाही तर त्याच्यावरती काही मार्गदर्शन मिळेल का आणि आय टी सारखंच अजून माझ्या काही सिनियर सिटीजन पण ओळखीचे आहेत ज्यांना खूप हातून मराठीचं काहीतरी काम व्हावं असं वाटत असतं तर पण त्यांना गॅजेट वापरणं आणि ते तुमचा म्यूट झालाय बहुतेक काय हॅलो हा आता येतोय आपण बंद झाला होता का हो 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 बोला मध्ये बंद झाला होता सिनियर सिटीजन नंतर बंद झाला होता ओके ओके माझ्या काही सिनियर सिटीजन्स मैत्रिणी पण आहेत ज्या मराठीसाठी काही काम करू इच्छितात आणि त्यांना विकिपिडियावर काम करायला आवडेल असं त्यांनी मला सांगितलं पण त्या हे युजर फ्रेंडली नसल्यामुळे त्यांना त्याच्यावर काही काम करता येत नाही तर त्यांच्यासाठी आपण काही करू शकू का थोडंसं सोपं बनवून की हे तुम्ही काम करा असं मार्गदर्शन मिळालं तर तेही चांगलं होईल झाले तुमचे मुद्देट इन बीफ सोनीती कम्स फ्रॉम आय टी बॅकग्राऊंड शी इज वर्किंग इन आय टी इंडस्ट्री बट ड्युरिंग पॅन्डेमिक शी हॅज शी हॅड लॉट ऑफ फ्री टाइम सो शी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग इन मराठी लिंगवा लिप्रे ऑडिओ बुक्स देन शी हॅज कॉन्ट्रीब्युटेड अ लॉट टू विकी सोर्स ऑल्सो नाव Uh, so she started working and she has spread that word among uh, her colleagues in IT industry and many uh, she has said that many women now uh, they are uh, written what getting free time uh, after working for 15 to 20 years and from their IT background also they want to contribute a lot to media for this they find it very interesting uh, but the way to engage them uh, is not uh, being able to they are not finding the way to engage them Uh, so how to engage all the uh, professionals uh, in this language project knowledge building project uh, is her concern and the second concern she has expressed that uh, many uh, senior citizen groups also she has approached and they are very much uh, fluent in uh, uh, marathi language plus they are uh, like uh, they are very expert in grammar uh, but the uh, all the project uh, handling plus the wikimedia projects uh, uh, flow of uh, working Uh, is not uh, suitable for them uh, so how to engage this community in college reading uh, whether there can be uh, different things that someone is working online contributing to the project and some are reading uh, working uh, on, from behind so uh, if uh, we can develop some methodology uh, to engage all this uh, community it will be great thanks 
Okay, Marina, do you have any reflection on that? I have many, so I'll just be very brief for now and uh, see how we proceed in the conversation. I think one observation that um, needs more conversation and, and more learning, it's a phrase that I've heard the movement communications team use about the front door of the Wikimedia Foundation, and I'm borrowing that to say, for different groups, whether it's women with an IT background or senior citizens, how do we work in a way that gives people different front doors to come into the Wikimedia project uh, and find themselves? I think that there's, I said that the events over the last two days, it's becoming clear to me that there's a symbiosis between our projects um, and ways they can work together so that people can come to us in whatever way they want, in whatever way makes sense for where they are in their life journey or how much time they have or how to engage um, uh, in the right kind of way. I mean, I'd be very, very interested to learn more about how women with an IT background can get engaged. That seems like a group in India we ought to want to learn from uh, and engage with particularly. And um, the second, which is a bigger issue, so we won't, I think, resolve it on this call, and knowing the Wikimedia universe, there's probably already many essays written about it, I just haven't read all of them yet, is that we have such a clear metric for participation on Wiki with the edit count. It's a way everybody can see and understand you and your contributions. But there's no equivalent that I have yet seen in the more community building aspects of our work. There's not a single edit count equivalent that helps you to be seen or understood in terms of your community building contributions. I think it's a not a new topic. I'm sure people have talked about it and maybe there are uh, examples or models I still don't know yet. But it seems to me that's one issue because we have a lot of people um, who do so many things in community building, trying to bring others in, capacity building, training, I don't know, um, and, and I'm trying to learn and understand how those contributions are measured or seen, and I, I don't mean measured like for a report, I just mean seen and um, acknowledged and understood at, at different levels uh, as well. So I see the comment in the chat, I'll be interested to know what that wow was about. Yeah, so it could be who actually uh, so, so we have been uh, addressing this challenge for so long and there have been extensive conversations on how we usually fail to appreciate the contribution that we do to actually bring partners to the movement or work on capacity building programs. And sometimes the, uh, in all these conversations we have seen um, that people don't appreciate this kind of uh, contribution as much as they appreciate the edit counts uh, because they're traceable. So really glad that we are having this, con uh, this conversation because um, for so many years uh, like we have been appreciating people for the immense contribution that can be measured but uh, we usually don't come across um, uh, uh, instances where people who have uh, expanded the community or probably provided trainings to the community members or facilitated some sorts of programs being, being felicitated for the work that they doing. So we, really made, uh, we are really, really ha happy that this conversation is finally started. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for that. Maybe just a fo small follow-up point. Again, we have, I hope, time in the new year to speak more, but I think the value of that isn't just in acknowledging contributions, but also in setting standards around excellence, because I think in the same way that the, the edit count works because I can see the quality of somebody's work. I mean, I have a hypothesis that the work that's being done in the community building isn't all of the same standard either. And so there has to be a way to also ensure that the contributions that are made by all of us 
are done in ways that add value and that move us forward and that have impact. And so if this is a useful conversation to have, I'll be very um, excited to continue it again beyond today's call. Um, because I think, uh, to your point, it's a huge amount of effort by well-intentioned Wikimedians who consider themselves part of this movement but don't always have um, a way of, again, demonstrating not just what they're doing, but also that they're doing it well, which I think is also uh, just an important uh, second point to make. So thank you. Uh, thank you both, Mariana and Manu. Just having, continuing the conversation about what it means to build a community, what it means to organize a community. There are some very interesting developments in the South Asian region of how communities come together, how do they envision themselves. And I was hoping that uh, Simone, uh, maybe you can speak about this. Uh, try to give an overview about what are the different taxonomies that we have, what are the different dynamics that we are uh, observing. Uh, thank you, Tanvi. Uh, so, in the Indian context, we see that uh, there are different kind of uh, community-based organizations, uh, CBOs or civil society organizations working on various issues. In India, be it the environmental issues, be it social issues, be it women's issues, legal issues, etc. So, there are many uh, organizational uh, structures working in uh, India, in various states, in various languages. Uh, but the Wikimedia community also, I think, with uh, the decentralization of, uh, of funding, decentralization of uh, governance uh, under the strategy 2030, uh, there is a challenge that people should also come together form small groups for working and the organizational culture has to be built because it's very difficult to work together uh, for uh, a longer time. So if it is, I, we always say, I also closely associated with civil society movement, we always say that if there are 10 people committed for 10 years for one project or one thing or one sector, then there will be a uh, impact in, in that sector. So uh, I think uh, Wikimedians also should uh, now uh, gear up for such small community building and organization forming. Uh, so the registration and other formalities uh, can uh, come later, but uh, I think uh, basically the team building exercises are very important. Uh, so coming together, uh, conceptualizing some uh, ideas and then uh, building uh, concrete proposals and then uh, actualizing those uh, ideas. So from conceptualization to actualization. So I think that process is very important for a group. Uh, so how we can uh, facilitate these processes among the various language communities in India, that is the challenge. And other thing is, uh, as I mentioned, there are already civil society organizations which have uh, uh, very vast knowledge repositories yeah, because they are working uh, in the sector of say water or women or legal aid. They are working for nearly 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. So they have huge knowledge repository, uh, repositories already with them. Uh, they have uh, the experience in working those knowledge repositories. Uh, so the knowledge is verified uh, and reliable. So how to tap all these knowledge sources is also a challenge. So if we can uh, get together a few groups in various regions and add these organizations for these knowledge repositories uh, is also a, a great opportunity in India. Uh, so uh, with, with these small points, uh, I open up this topic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Subodh. Mariana, before you weigh in on this, I actually wanted to invite uh, Obed who stands on the other end, you know, a small community working all by themselves, have like a very distinct presence. Uh, Obed, can I ask you to say that you have done your community, your work, and what you think about 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 what you I think Owen got disconnected, I guess. Oh. Okay, let's wait for a bit to uh, come back to this conversation. Okay. Uh, picking back on Subodh's uh, thing, Mariana, do you have any reflections? 
I mean, again, I have lots of questions, so, you know, we can continue these conversations beyond today. I think that maybe, um, and we've got about 15 minutes left on the call, so I just want to also make sure if there's other projects that we haven't heard from, or again, different corners of the community to make sure that there's just time to provide them with space for contribution. Thanks, Mariana. Sure. Please, uh, if you have suggestions, if you have uh, observations, either use the chat or raise your hand, and uh, we will uh, put the spotlight on you in a good way. Uh, yes, I see the comment in the chat about the com. I mean, I did have an opportunity. In fact, I think my very first, one of my very first conversations uh, back in September when we started was with. Uh, Wikimedians of the Year honorary mentions around some of the comments campaigns uh, and the love of butterflies, which was a quite remarkable story. Um, so I don't, I, I see your comments, Adib. I don't know if you want to speak to it. Sure, I can mention um, a sort of a new campaign that we started in India, uh, a bunch of Wikimedians, and you know, in the wake of the farmers' protest that has been going on in India for uh, a year now. So. We started um, a campaign called Share Your Struggle, where we invited people to share images of uh, natural disasters, social and, um, and similar uh, content. So we are about to release the, um, the list of the winners, uh, but I'll just share in this call, uh, first time publicly, the winning, uh, probably the winning image uh, from from that campaign. Thanks to both you for sharing the link to it. So both uh, has been a partner on that. Bringing in uh, organizations which are working uh, in, in these kind of social movements has been helping in that. We've been also been able to bring in professional photographers to release their content uh, for this campaign who've been there at the farmers' protest and, and other movements. So there's just an image for all of you to you know, to see. And uh, so it was India focused this time, but we are already having conversations with the campaign team at the uh, Wikimedia Foundation, and probably we're going to make it a global campaign. Um, around this topic. Thanks. Amazing. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just checking if we have obeyed with us. Don't seem to have. Uh, okay, I acknowledge that we have less than 15 minutes and I actually wanted to move into a part where uh, Indian Wikimedians, community members can ask questions to Mariana. If they have questions uh, that they want to put in the chat, or please feel free to open your mic and uh, ask away. Tanvir, could I, could I just come in here please? Yes, please, Frederick. Uh, a wider, wider point going from the local to the global. Uh, we, we are caught in a particular uh, situation where the community is too small to have an impact Konkani and uh, at the global level we find it very difficult to enter that space because of two things one is a whole lot of deletionism and the fact that the admins are so heavily outside of India that for them to understand the context of what we are writing can become very tough so like I can document some cases where the uh, most prominent singer in Goa, the the, the most uh, prominent uh, literator in the state and uh, a former, you know, the precursor to the Goa University all get deleted because it does not make sense at a global scale. So, so my point is that there is some, there is some structural problem that we are trying to weigh local issues by global standards and, and it just fails the test. And with this structural problem, we are not going to reach anywhere towards this uh, sum total of, uh, you know, uh, global knowledge. That's my point. So there seems to be a serious problem in terms of uh, the bigger language Wikipedia's. That's just what I want to say. Thank you, Frederick. Indeed, uh, this has been a concern, and this has been something that Indian communities have been discussing for a very uh, long time. And I think we need to have a conversation at the global level to try and make sure that 
not all of the policies are geared toward one monolithic uh, uh, standard but to ensure that there is an option available that there is flexibility available to ensure that new knowledge types new knowledge sources are also included on our uh, projects uh, any other questions towards uh, mariana Um, 
in India in particular have been very, very difficult. I, those of you watching the news know that uh, as of yesterday, South Africa has identified a new variant and my life went from being very organized to very chaotic in 24 hours. So, you know, I think the pandemic is with us still and trying to find ways to um, manage what is to come and what does that mean for our ability to reconvene and our ability to find our way to community building, I, I think, in this very difficult time. I think the question of who participates and how we bring in women, how we bring in diversity across gender, how we bring in young and old and in between, just the sum of, of all human knowledge requires all humans. So we'll be interested to continue learning from you what is working and what we can do more of um, in particularly I would say in, in the next uh, in the next year I just wanted uh, which I've done in, in all the other conversations is to just leave you in the chat with my direct email I'm always happy to continue the conversations I've already had exchanges with some of you before the call and really I want to say thank you to the organizers Thank you especially to the interpreters who um, allowed people to really come and speak as they wish, which is a gift um, that I don't take for granted in this, in this movement. Um, and if you'll give me the liberty, because it is the last call, to just actually thank Medad, who's been with me on this for the last two and a half months. Um, and uh, it's been awesome. So just thank you to all of you, and uh, thank you, Kanvir and Shabab, for the facilitation. Thank you, Mariana. The 90 minutes crossed away like does that. So we are uh, at the very end of our today's uh, listening to, and uh, we thank you very much for participating, and uh, we are very much uh, appreciate Mariana to give us some uh, our valuable time. So before we close formally, I would like to invite Shupo and Nitesh for the closing remarks. Thank you, Mariana, for your sparing your very valuable time, uh, for listening to us, all the communities uh, across India as well as uh, Bangladesh and Nepal. Uh, so I am very much thankful to Tanvira and Shabab also because they have moderated very uh, nicely and they actually motivated the uh, various speakers uh, to express their own uh, thoughts and impressions as well as the concerns. I think uh, a lot of concerns have been uh, registered here. Uh, so as I prepare, so we need to think uh, deeper way to some of the points. And in the presentation, we will be able to do that. Uh, I am also thankful for all the community members here who have uh, joined here, they have expressed their uh, views and uh, they have uh, like uh, participated in it. So I think that is a, a great gesture towards uh, you incoming CEO. And I think uh, as Marina has uh, expressed her wish to listen first, so I think that is a very generous gesture, big gesture which uh, all know uh, whoever speaks, uh, somebody should there to listen. Uh, so I am thankful uh, to all uh, in this call. Uh, so we will we are saying goodbye to all. Thank you. And thanks, Fana, for taking notes. Thank you very much. <laughs>